How's it going everybody? I have an awesome knife review for you today. This is the Benchmade 15010. It's a large fixed blade with a gut hook and it's excellent. This is part of Benchmade's black class and that's marketed towards military, law enforcement, and responsible citizens who use their knives, especially hunters being that this is a bone collector series. Benchmade's bone collector line celebrates the culture of the hunter. It's the brotherhood of sportsmen that have a true passion for the game, the land, and lifestyle. It was designed in collaboration with Michael Waddle. These tools are edge tools built for performance in the field. The blade steel of this is made out of D2, which is a tool steel. It has a Rockwell hardness of 60 to 62. D2 steel is a tool steel and it does have extreme edge retention. But the higher you go up in the Rockwell hardness scale, the more brittle the metal becomes. That means D2 is not made for prying, but it is made for holding an edge for a very long time. And the application of this knife is for gutting animals, and it'll be perfect in that application. The handle scales are made out of texture D10, but what I really like about them is the design on them. If you look down the middle of the scale, you'll see little scallops cut out. Now what those are, are actually little indentions that are supposed to imitate ribs. Not only do they give you a decoration design, but they lock in your hand. If you're ever doing work gutting an animal, this won't slip. You'll also notice the finger trail at the bottom right of the blade, and that really makes sure you don't slip. So it's perfect when you're gutting a deer, when you're gutting an elk, whatever it is, you're not going to have any problems holding onto that knife, even when things get messy. The blade design is a modified clip point. What I really like about it is the acute angle it comes to at the end of the blade. It has such a sharp point. You also notice that this knife has a giant belly on it. It was perfectly designed for skinny. Let me give you some specs on this knife. The overall length is 8.13 inches. The blade length is 4.1 inches. The blade thickness is 0.14 inches. The handle thickness is 0.6 inches. And it weighs right around 4.5 ounces. The knife did come with a sheath and that weighs in at 2.18 ounces. I have to be honest, I'm not impressed with the sheath. It's like it was thrown into the box just to have one with it. Now I'd much rather go out and get a custom Kydex sheath because I know that'll hold up over time. This has no reflection on the blade itself because that's of the highest quality. But that leather material is just not worth the price range it's in. This is really common with most manufacturers today. There's like a transition in the knife world going on right now. Companies are doing one of two things. They're transitioning to making cheaper sheaths and charging a lower price for their blade, or they're going with a little more expensive price on their blades and making a Kydex sheath for their knives. One more thing I want to mention is the gut hook. This is one of the best designed gut hooks I've seen on any knife, and I've collected many blades over many years. It was designed perfectly for what you needed to do. There's enough space in the gut hook that you can pull all materials through without any hookups on skin, on meat. It just rips it right through. It was extremely razor sharp out of the box. It's far enough back on the knife, it's not going to interfere with the cutting on the front edge. I'm super impressed with the design. I hope you enjoyed the knife review. If you have any questions, comment or PM me. Please like the video, subscribe. If you guys want to do a video response, I'll gladly approve it. I'll talk to you guys later.